Now, the increased adoption of new and evolving digital technologies will continue to transform the way businesses innovate their operating models, digitize their product and service portfolios, and also engage with stakeholders. But with recent developments of data breaches in companies like Facebook, how do we ensure the safe and successful integration of digital technologies? Joining us uh, for more is Vino Govender, who is the Acting Chief uh, Strategy Officer at Dark Fiber Africa. Uh, Vino, thanks so much for your time. I mean, uh, safety really now is the name of the game. Definitely, Fifi, and thank for the opportunity. Um, you know, when we looked specifically at the Facebook example, it wasn't really a hack, right? It was more a breach of data. So data was accessed by, by a, a third, and, and passed on to a third party. However, when we start looking at securing uh, data from, an ex, from a network perspective, this is where we, you know, we need to be more cognizant of uh, the, the measures we put in place. Mm -hmm. You know what, you, uh, you have something uh, very interesting here. You say that true digital transformation, which I imagine a lot of companies all over the world are mm -hmm. undergoing as we enter the next growth phase, it, you say it doesn't merely happen when companies employ new advanced technologies. What do you mean by that? So, you know, technology is just a tool, PP. I think, uh, uh, you know, digital transformation really happens when these tools are applied you know, in, in ways that uh, create efficiency in the business, you know, uh, enable a business to really digitize the product offering and create new value propositions, uh, you know, to market. Uh -huh. And are you, are you finding that that is happening? Yes, we're seeing that a lot. I mean, even in South Africa, uh, a lot of large companies and even small, uh, uh, medium companies now are adopting uh, technologies such as, you know, AI-driven uh, chatbots for customer service or analytics uh, to provide better, uh, you know, customer experience. So we're seeing a lot of these technologies coming through now and, we, and they're becoming more accessible, you know, through... Uh, you know, more pervasive access of technologies uh, such as fiber access, which gives them the speed and a great user experience when they use these services. I mean, that fiber access, though, is the rollout that we're currently seeing in South Africa, is it sufficient to ensure that companies keep up? It, 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 we're still at the growth stage. Uh, you know, as, as time goes on, we'll see increased uh, penetration and rollout of fiber networks. It is a, uh, you know, it really is a uh, capital-intensive business. Mm. But, but if you start looking at the technologies that, be, that are going to you know, become more embedded in society, AI, VR, um, and what you're going to find that is going to be so bandwidth hungry that you're going to need these types of uh, uh, high-speed access really to support uh, you know, access to these services. Mm. And just like uh, from a, a jobs perspective about technology, I mean really different views about whether it will result in the loss of jobs or the creation of uh, new jobs as a result. I mm -hmm. mean where, where, where do you stand and particularly from a South African point of view? You know uh, the way I view it uh, Fifi is that you know Let's look at technologies such as AI. Everyone calls it artificial intelligence, but it can also be viewed as, as augmented intelligence. Because how do we use these technologies to augment, uh, you know, our human capability in terms of, of 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 delivering services that are required from a business and consumer perspective? For example, let's look at, let's look at something simple as, as as education. Do we have enough mm. capacity in tertiary sector to absorb the number of students coming off? Uh, answer is really no. However, if we use digital technologies, we can start taking the classroom to, uh, to the students out there, enabling us to, you know, to meet the need for the greater demand for, of education. Sure, that's interesting there, but we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. That was Vino Govinda, Acting Chief Strategy Officer at Dark Fiber and uh, Dark Fiber Africa, rather.